What makes an ex come back? This is a question that I've studied for the last decade. My name is Coach Adrian, and I've dedicated my life to helping people overcome painful breakups and rebuild relationships. If this is the first time on this channel, welcome. I'm sorry that you're going through this painful, difficult situation, but I know that it can be an empowering experience. And I welcome all of those that are here for the first time. You'll see that we have over a thousand videos on this topic of how to get an ex back, and I invite you to take advantage of this free content to get the knowledge that you need. So what makes an ex come back? First and foremost, you have to understand that if the breakup occurred, it's usually because your ex doesn't feel like they can be happy with you anymore. And trying to force them to see how you feel, talking about your feelings and emotions and how you love them and how you're sorry or how you're going to change isn't going to change that reality. You need to give yourself perspective and time to process what happened, to see how you were not meeting their needs, to see how you perhaps changed throughout this relationship and put yourself in their shoes to understand what happened. If you don't understand what went wrong, it's going to be very difficult for you to make things right. It sounds simple, yet so many people that I coach in private coaching sessions fail to really grasp that reality. So your ability to understand your ex's motivations, fears, desires, love language, is at the heart of what will enable you to be successful in this process. And in order to be able to grasp those things, you need to take a step back. You cannot be a prisoner of your own fears, emotions, insecurities, and desire to be with them. Otherwise, you're going to push them away. You're going to do exactly what they don't want you to do. You will put pressure on them. You will emotionally guilt trip them. And ultimately, that's not what makes an ex come back. What makes an ex come back is seeing that they can be happy with you. For them to see the person that they fell in love with at the beginning of the relationship. That means detachment. It means patience. And it means a regained sense of confidence and well-being. I have never seen someone successfully emotionally guilt trip a partner into coming back. You have to inspire them. You have to be able to share moments of happiness. And you can do this if you give yourself time to approach this process the right way. We often talk about personal transformation, working on yourself. And one of the reasons why I love what I do is because I have seen so many people redefined who they are after a breakup, turning a crisis into an opportunity for growth. And that's what I want for you. Because if you're able to do this, you will position yourself in a way where your ex will want to come back to you. And it may seem crazy if you've heard your ex say that it's over forever, that they don't want to talk to you, that they don't want to be friends, or just say awful mean things to you that you feel perhaps weren't unwarranted. I've seen that happen a lot too. And the reality is that they fail to see how you can make them happy, and they're sure that this breakup is what's best for them. But once they lose you, once they understand that life isn't necessarily better without you, and they understand their own shortcomings and their own mistakes, then they can value you and the relationship and what you brought to the table and not just focus on everything that went wrong. So many of you, I'm sure, don't recognize your ex. It's as if you're dealing with a new, completely different person. And if that's happening to you, it's okay. I know it's difficult and it's hard and it's painful, but 
it should be a catalyst for you to realize that you have to take a step back and you have to focus on the things that you can control. Mainly you, your mindset, your attitude, maximizing your attraction power. So you're going to want to be social. You're going to want to reconnect with old friends. You're going to want to make new friends. You're going to want to make sure that you put your best quality traits and attributes forward. You're going to want to make sure that you're not in this desperate emotional mindset anymore because that will not make them come back. And once you've basically gotten this mojo back, then it's okay to reconnect and to showcase through your actions this new version of you. It may sound abstract or difficult, or it may feel like it works for everyone else, but it won't work for you. But it can work for you. You can do this. I promise you that you can do this if you take your time and if you approach this process the right way. In truth, the people that are successful in getting their ex back aren't the ones that are in favorable situations or circumstances. They're the ones that have the resolve and the vision, who are able to see the end in the beginning, who believe in themselves and their ability to make their partners happy, and then take their time with this organic process of reconnection. And you can learn more about this organic process of reconnection in the private video that you will find in the description below. Ultimately, we are here to provide you with tools, with techniques, with perhaps an education that you don't have when it comes to relationships. And it is my hope that through this information, you will be able to rebuild the relationship with this person that you love most. As always, don't hesitate to share your thoughts, your feedback in the comment section below. And until next time, continue to fight the good fight. See you soon.